Arbor Vitae is a popular shrub or tree for many homeowners and in Wyoming we oftentimes get questions about why they aren't thriving and doing as well or in this case as these Arbor Vitae next to me why they oftentimes show dieback and if we look at where they're native to back in the eastern United States and as far west as Michigan and Minnesota we can see that we aren't as humid as its native environment and this can lead to increased water stress in these plants. If you're considering planting arborvitae in your landscape, make sure that you find a microclimate where they're going to be protected from Wyoming's harsh environmental conditions, including wind and snow and other factors that can add to their stress. You should make sure that they're well watered throughout the summer. And in the fall, we want to restrict watering as we get into maybe early to mid-September so we can allow our plants to go dormant. But then we can come back in once they've gone dormant and before the ground freezes, we can add some water to the soil to, to help them over winter. And we can also consider winter watering. Um, and this is important for all of our trees and shrubs. Winter watering is appropriate anytime that we have a warm day where the ground isn't frozen and we don't have snow cover, we can apply a little bit of water to help our, our plants and our shrubs uh, over winter. If you've experienced winter damage to your arborvitae, give them some time to grow back and to green up again and see what part is actually dead. And later in the summer, you can prune out the dead parts of the tree and adding some fertilizer will also help to kind of jumpstart its recovery from that damage as well. I'm Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension and you're watching From the Ground Up.